If you're following Johnny and Amber, you probably know someone named Dan Wooten who has now been accused of serious allegations. Now the problem is Dan worked for The Sun and Dan printed a lot of things about Johnny that weren't so nice about the allegations against Johnny that we know now were not true. One of Dan's theories is believe, 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 don't worry about the evidence. So, well, that's what we might do in your specific case because that's what you believe in. All right, just kidding. I still need to see the evidence. But if you get my drift, I wouldn't feel so bad if people just believed it. This here is from SK Pop from July 14th, 2023. It's called Why is Dan Moon Trending on Twitter? Allegation explored as presenter repeatedly takes leave of absence. Well, if you didn't know why Dan was trending, now you do. So I talked about this two times, two videos, but it was fresh. And this article here lays out the details in an organized way. So I figured I'd check it out. Plus, there's not too many people reporting on this. There's this article, a couple of others, but where's Rolling Stone? Where's People? Where's Movie Web? Where's Fox and CNN and that whole gang? Well, maybe they'll pop up, but for now, not so many. Let's see what we got. Why is Dan Wooten trending? Dan Wooten's currently trending due to serious allegations made against him by his ex-boyfriend, Alex Ruby. These allegations include claims of stalking, emotional bullying, and involvement in a disturbing incident. Alex shares experiences on Twitter, providing detailed accounts of the alleged misconduct that occurred during their relationship. And by the way... Last I checked, that had 2.6 million views. It must be on like 3 million views by now, just on Alex's little tweet. In the Twitter thread, Alex stated that his relationship with Wooten, which lasted from late 2009 to early 2013, was a highly distressing period in his life. He revealed that Wooten gained unauthorized access to his social media accounts and email without his knowledge, leading him to believe he was being stalked. This suspicion was confirmed when Alex discovered his email account had been regularly accessed from the News of the World office where Wooten was employed at the time. So I love how they wrap it up in these nice little sentences. It's all neat and easy to understand here. Another concerning incident occurred when Wooten was visiting his family in New Zealand and Alex was staying at Wooten's flat to care for their cat, which I covered here before. And they say Alex found something. What it was, was a video taped by a hidden camera with a transcript from someone named Martin Branning that had a secret arrangement to create an SCX tape for 500 euros. We found out that Martin Branning was actually an alias used by none other than Dan Wooten himself. Then they talk about some other things Namingly, how Alex was not the only person that Dan tried to catfish, as they say, online using this alias. So allegedly, Dan has done this before. And what I didn't mention is that a lot of older articles and allegations about Dan are surfacing now because these new ones came out. I've been covering this case for a long time. Things around Johnny and Amber. Obviously, Dan comes up. But I had to be reminded myself that Dan did have allegations against him. So from this, we get a reminder of the past. That's a good thing. They also say he shut off his comments on Twitter, which is no surprise. That's what people like Dan do. They say that Alex has some proof for some details, although I admit they don't say what that proof actually is. Obviously, this is a wait and see situation. It's pretty funny, it was trending, but when a tweet gets 3 million views, that's what usually happens. It usually starts to trend. Things that get less than that trend sometimes. Or I should say, a lot of the time. So obviously, Dan, you were trending for a reason you probably did not want to be trending over. I'm just dying for some actual evidence, the video, some details, some text messages, something like that. It pains me to say, without evidence, it's not going to go anywhere. And I got to hold the same standards to Dan Wooten that I do 
to Marilyn Manson, for example, when I defend him or even Johnny. Got to be fair. If I wasn't fair and I just said, you know what, Dan did it. Look at this. That person said it. Well, then that means my other stuff's not as credible. So let me know what you think in the comments. I got to admit, my popcorn is out. I'm glued to the screen when I see this stuff. Anything that pops up, you'll know about it. Hopefully, this ends in a justful way. If you're not subscribed here, consider it. If you don't, I'll be real sad about it, but I'll get over it. Yeah, something's wrong with my collar here. It's like too loose. I need a new wardrobe. See you next time.